before this video starts, I quickly wanted to say I'm sponsored for today's review. We are sponsored by Timmy Bug Productions merch! I was a little worried to use Teespring because it sounded a bit too good to be true. Uh, the previous way I had made some merch was I, I would use transfer paper and t-shirts. It was unprofitable and very unfun. And I wasn't even putting the logo that I wanted to put on the merch. So we finally got merch. You can't really see it, but on the back of the merch it says Family Friendly Gaming since 2018. It didn't show up when I bought this shirt, but it will show up now. I edited the listing. And goodness sakes, we've started to make this look a bit more like a YouTuber setup. So. If you are interested in the merch, you can either use the link in the description down below that says, you know, check out the merch, or you can also go to my channel, and on the channel art, there's an overlay for where you can get yourself some Timmy Bug Productions merch. I'm really happy. We've got Timmy Bug Productions hoodies. I don't have one to show you right now, but I have one coming in the mail. We've got Timmy Bug Productions masks. It will take a tiny bit to get to you. USPS is being really, really slow recently. We've got shirts, we've got hoodies, I don't have one to show you, we've got face masks, we've got stickers, we've got stickers, we've got stickers, we've got stickers. I have a couple stickers on me if you ever run into me in the good old local Walmart. Uh, just ask me and I'll give you a sticker. Not actually, I don't carry the stickers on me. With that sellout done, let's get into today's review. Today I'm reviewing a TV show that I do genuinely think was better than the first season. Today, I am reviewing The Mandalorian Season 2. Very good. Stayed good. To me, it didn't get any worse. I'd say it got just slightly better, uh, but I did really, really enjoy The Mandalorian Season 2. Overall rating, 8 out of 10. So it didn't change. Uh, still, some great, great things, but a couple things that needed to be changed, to me at least, because violence... Violence is 7 out of 10. Uh, there was a bit more violence than last season. There was some more shooting, some more stabbing. And this season, every episode was rated PG-13. In case you didn't know, last season, only select episodes were rated PG-13. I think 3 out of the 8 episodes were rated PG-13, and then all of the rest of them were rated PG. Well, every episode was rated PG-13 in this season. So a little bit less kid-friendly on the violence. Language? One out of ten. They swore a bit more in uh, in this season, so obviously that's not that good. Recommended age, I would say, would probably be twelve. Uh, I don't remember what the recommended age for last season was, but it's still a good show, and I do think if you watched season one, season two is a little bit more scary than season one. That's something I noticed. And then adult content, two out of ten. So people wear some, uh, you know, clothing, and there's some heavier topics discussed. That is all for this review. Again, I'm sorry for selling out for so long at the beginning. It, it just needed to be done, you know, and, and... This episode is probably going to get more viewed than the other episodes, so I figured sell out on the episode that's going to get views. Goodbye. Cause I'm fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds, you won't see me crying. I'm fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds, you won't see me crying. Have my fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds, you won't see me crying. I'm fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds, fully stacked diamonds, you won't see me crying. Have my fully stacked.